Here we need to give the IUPAC name. So step one, find the longest continuous chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the longest you would be able to find. Six means hex. Now let's look at the functional group. Where is the functional group? Well, the functional group is here by this OH. That means we need to start naming the molecule from the right hand side because that would give us, or well, that is the closest place to the functional group. Some of you might be like, yeah, but Kevin, shouldn't we start on this side because the branch is closer? Remember, it is not about the branch numbers, only if we were dealing with alkanes or halo alkanes, for example. But for all the other molecules, you start naming on the side that is closest to the functional group. So this will be carbon one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so on carbon number, so where are the branches? Well, this is a branch because here's the straight, here's the continuous chain. And so everything that sticks out, that's a branch. So that's on carbon number four. So we can say four hyphen. Now, how many carbons are in that branch? There's only one, so that's meth. So you're gonna say methyl like that, and then the functional group. So the functional group is on carbon number three. So how do we do this? So some students, they get a bit confused with, should we put an AN over here or shouldn't we? And we actually should, and the way that I help learners to remember that is to ask them, what is the most common, what is the type of alcohol that we use in alcoholic beverages? Well, that's ethanol, um, okay, so that's ethanol. So if you write out the word ethanol, you can see that there is an A-N over there. So we're gonna say hexan, okay, and then it's on carbon number three, and it's an alcohol, so that's O-L. So you wouldn't go, you wouldn't say four methyl hex three, Oh, you must put the A in, okay? Just like you do in ethanol. So the final answer would be 4-methyl-hexan-3-O.